there's just so much information out there, right? Complex diets, new drugs. Mm -hmm. It can be overwhelming. It really can. But what if uh, a really common ingredient, something tiny you might just have in your kitchen cupboard right now, holds a surprising key? Mm -hmm. Today, we're doing a deep dive into, well, into sesame. Sesame indicum, technically. And its potential role in tackling something called hyperlipidemia. Yeah, and our goal here, really, is to unpack the science behind this. We want to look at the research, pull out the key findings for you. Exactly. Make it clear, actionable, and honestly, pretty fascinating. Give you that shortcut to knowing what's what in this specific area. Precisely. We're zeroing in on sesame, sesame indicum, and its potential really as a dietary ally. It's about how this, this everyday seed could help manage elevated blood fats. Which are a major factor in cardiovascular risk. Right? A key factor, absolutely. Okay, so before we get right into the sesame details, let's just quickly make sure we're on the same page about why this whole topic matters so much. We're talking hyperlipidemia. Mm -hmm. Which is essentially uh, elevated fats in your blood, like cholesterol and triglycerides. That's it. High cholesterol, high triglycerides. And managing those numbers, keeping them in check. That's that's really a cornerstone of cutting down your overall cardiovascular risk, isn't it? It absolutely is. And what's what's crucial here is understanding just how common this is. Right. Hyperlipidemia affects a huge number of people globally. These aren't just abstract numbers on a lab report. They mm -hmm. directly impact your, your future heart health. Yeah. So finding a, effective ways to manage them. Especially accessible ways. Exactly. Accessible ways is incredibly important. So, okay, against that backdrop this common issue. Our deep dive turned up sesame, which maybe isn't the first thing people think of. Really not, no. How did it emerge? I mean, the research suggests it could be an adjunctive therapy that using sesame, you know, the seeds or the oil or even extracts, mm -hmm. can actually have a positive impact, a measurable impact on the lipid profiles for people with hyperlipidemia. Yes. And the, the initial findings and the ones that seem most consistent when you look across the studies okay. really highlight its ability to significantly reduce triglycerides. That's a big one. Yeah. And in many cases, there's also a benefit for lowering LDL cholesterol, the so-called bad cholesterol. Wow. Okay. That's that's pretty significant for just a food ingredient. So what is it? What's in the sesame seed that gives it these these kinds of effects? What's the uh, the powerhouse component? Well, it's not just one thing. It's, uh, it's packed with a really rich mix of bioactive compounds. Think of them as the active ingredients doing the work. Okay. You've got a high concentration of uh, unsaturated fatty acids, mm -hmm. oleic and linoleic acid mostly, mm -hmm. good fats. But then you also have these really potent compounds called lignans. Lignans, okay. Yeah, like sesame and sesamolin. And on top of that, phytosterols. These are all plant-based compounds, and they seem to be the key players in how sesame affects fats in our body. Interesting. So it's a combination of things working together. It seems to be, yes. And you mentioned the triglyceride lowering is particularly consistent. When we look at um, those big reviews, the systematic reviews and meta-analyses. Right, the studies that pool all the data together. Yeah, those ones. They show a pretty clear, notable reduction in serum triglycerides. That stands out. It really does. Uh, that's probably the most robust finding across the board. And it's significant because high triglycerides, they're an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Meaning they're bad news for your heart on their own, even if cholesterol is okay. Exactly. So consistently bringing those levels down, potentially with something as simple as adding sesame to your diet, that's a really meaningful benefit for people with hyperlipidemia. It's a clear win. Got it. Clear win on triglycerides. But uh, you mentioned cholesterol earlier, and it sounded, well, a bit more complicated. Yeah, that's, that's where the picture gets a little more nuanced. It's not quite as straightforward as the triglyceride story. Okay, tell me more. Well, you see, some specific studies, like individual clinical trials, and even one meta-analysis that looked only at that lignin, sesame. Ah, just the sesame extract. Right. Those have shown significant drops in both total cholesterol and that bad LDL cholesterol. Okay, so that sounds promising. It does. But then, when you look at the broad, broader meta-analyses, the ones looking at overall sesame consumption like seeds or oil, not just the concentrated lignin, uh -huh. the results for cholesterol are, well, less consistent. Some studies show an effect. Others don't find a significant change. Hmm. Why the difference, do you think? It likely comes down to a few things. Mm -hmm. The form of sesame used really seems to matter. Whole seeds versus oil versus those concentrated extracts like sesame. Right. Also, the dosage makes a difference and how long the studies went on for. 
it seems plausible based on the evidence yeah. that maybe those concentrated sesame extracts just provide a more potent, more direct cholesterol lowering punch compared to eating, say, whole seeds alone. The concentration might be key for that specific effect. So how you get your sesame could influence the cholesterol outcome. That makes sense. And what about the good cholesterol, HDL? Any movement there? Um, there's some suggestion in some studies of a modest increase in HDL, the good kind. But again, it's not as consistently reported as the triglyceride reduction. Okay. It might happen for some people or with certain forms, but it's not the main headline effect like the triglycerides are. Got it. Triglycerides down consistently. Cholesterol depends. Maybe stronger with extracts like sesame and HDL. Uh, maybe. That's a pretty good summary of the current picture, yeah. Okay, so we know what it seems to do and we know what's inside it. But the big question is how? How does sesame actually, you know, work its magic inside the body? What are the mechanisms? Right, the biochemistry of it. Well, it seems to be multifaceted, several things working together. Mm. If we connect it back to how our body handles fats, mm. those lignans we mentioned, especially sesame, seem pretty central. Research shows sesame can actually inhibit or slow down both the absorption of cholesterol from your food and the gut. Okay, so let's get some. Exactly. And it also seems to inhibit the body's own synthesis of cholesterol primarily in the liver. So it's like a two-pronged approach for cholesterol management from the sesame itself. Wow. Okay. Blocking intake and slowing production. Sort of. Yeah. And then you have the phytosterols. They work a bit differently. They basically compete with cholesterol for absorption in your intestines. Like they elbow cholesterol out of the way. Huh, something like that. They structurally resemble cholesterol, so they kind of trick the absorption sites, meaning right. less actual cholesterol gets absorbed into your bloodstream. Clever. And then don't forget the fatty acid profile itself, that high content of unsaturated fatty acids, the oleic and linoleic. The good fats. The good fats. They inherently contribute to a healthier overall lipid profile too. So it's really a combination of these different components acting through slightly different pathways. It's pretty amazing, really, how much is packed into that tiny seed. It's almost uh, ironic that we hunt for complex solutions when this has been around for ages. It really is quite remarkable. Now, this all sounds incredibly positive, and it is, but we absolutely have to include a really important point here, a caveat for you, our listener. Yes, this is crucial. It raises the question of application. Right. Look, while sesame based on this research, can be a really valuable nutrient-dense addition to a heart-healthy diet. Uh -huh. It absolutely should not be seen as a replacement for things your doctor has prescribed, medications, for instance, or for other really important lifestyle changes. Like diet and exercise, yeah, the foundation. Exactly. A balanced diet, regular physical activity, those are fundamental. Sesame can complement those efforts, but it's not a magic bullet on its own. So don't just start eating sesame and stop your statins, for example. Please don't. That's absolutely not the message. We cannot stress enough how important it is to talk to your healthcare provider, your doctor, before making any significant changes to your diet or your health regimen. Especially if you're already managing a condition like hyperlipidemia. Especially then. Think of sesame as a potential helper, a supporting player, but definitely consult your doctor. It's a complementary tool, not, not a standalone cure. That's a really vital distinction. Okay, so let's try and wrap up the key takeaways from this deep dive. Mm. The research suggests sesame can have a, a genuinely favorable impact on blood fats for people with hyperlipidemia. Yes. The most notable, most consistent effect seems to be that significant reduction in triglycerides. That's the strongest signal, definitely. The cholesterol story is, as you said, more nuanced. It might depend on the form, the dose. Mm -hmm. But those concentrated lignin extracts, like sesame, they do show particular promise there in some studies. That seems to be where the stronger cholesterol effect might lie, yes. So, bottom line. Bottom line, sesame is this nutrient-dense food packed with these interesting bioactive compounds. And because of that, it really does stand out as a, a potential dietary ally, something that could help in managing hyperlipidemia and just generally promoting better cardiovascular health as part of an overall healthy approach. That's a great summary. It really does make you think, doesn't it, about how interconnected our food choices, even simple ones, are with our long-term health. Absolutely. And it makes you wonder, how much more is there to discover in ingredients we see every day? Mm. Simple, ancient foods like sesame. What other everyday staples might be hiding these kinds of uh, hidden health benefits just waiting for science to uncover them? That's a fascinating question. Definitely food for thought. We really encourage you to stay curious, keep asking questions, and keep exploring these amazing links between 
diet and your well-being.